Hello everyone, my name is Salem Santiago and this is my first vlog in 2021. sa bagong store dito sa Skolta. It's called Bon Appetit uh, where you can buy uh, different kinds of food. Siyempre ang specialty nila ay tea. They are a good way to start in the year and you have to experience this new store. It's a really good store. Sana tumagal sila. Actually naalala ko bigla when I was sub-browsing my Facebook account five years na pala since nangyari yung toko sa TEDx. It's a milestone event personally dahil TEDx is well, a very um, prominent speaking engagement. Uh, only few people are, are invited to, to speak uh, on this kind of event. Pero I applied for it and well, I, uh, I worked hard for it and fortunately January 23, 2016, I stood at the TEDx stage at Xavier School in Mandaluyong or San Juan pala. I wanna share you guys dahil nga uh, fifth anniversary ng aking TEDx talk sa Xavier School. Uh, I wanna share with you some thoughts na lang about um, speaking in front of a uh, particular um, audience. One thing about TEDx is that you have the knowledge of, uh, of the subject. It, it doesn't need to be uh, academic. It's important that you just know what we're talking about. So in my case, uh, before I, uh, I talk at TEDx, at least I, have the, I had the experience in uh, mobilizing volunteers to boost volunteerism in the city of Manila or particularly here at Escolta. It's a compilation of learnings, of stories about Escolta, about Manila, and about volunteerism. You have to consider the organization thought. So it's really hard to organize thoughts, lan na pag sabi natin marami kang nalalaman and marami kang experience. It's really hard to uh, to make an outline of, uh, of what you want to talk about. First of all, you can write everything. You can write anything you want to say. And it's not, uh, it's not only important to organize it, but you have to make a very clear narrative of your subject. Um, I had to cite some examples or some stories that I got when I served as a tour guide at a school. So I had to create a narrative on how stories can serve the interest of heritage conservation or heritage promotion in terms of preserving our culture and our heritage here at a school. When you speak at Ed, TEDx, feel ko kailangan lagi kang interesting. I'm not sure if I'm interested enough. <laughs> Kasi if, if you've seen the video, well, I'll put the video uh, on the description below so you can watch the TEDx video. I cannot show it here in the vlog dahil baka makapirate infringement ako. You have to look and you have to sound interesting. I'm not sure if I'm interesting enough. Again, as I was saying, but you have to catch the interest of your audience. It may be a story, it may be a joke, kung magaling kayong joker. Make the topic interesting. I think you have to be candid enough. You have to be truthful. Kahit medyo nakakatawa, kahit medyo nakakalungkot, you have to be truthful. Para una, makatch mo yung attention ng audience mo. And pangalawa, para makapture nila or maintindihan nila. Kung saan yung topic mo at bakit yun ang topic mo. 
my thoughts about talking about edX it's a really good experience express uh, my gratitude to, to the men and women of TEDx Savior School for giving me the opportunity and of course to the men and women of Escolta to the Escolta Commercial Association to Heritage Conservation Society Youth uh, to everyone to every volunteer of Escolta volunteer arm I'm really thankful for those for those for those experiences that made me uh, inspired to do the talk to do the TEDx talk at Savior School. Twenty twenty one thoughts. Honestly, um, I'm actually afraid to do this vlog. It's really hard. To, to make a vlog. Hindi kasi ako walking tao. Walking ako in person. Pero hindi, hindi ako walking na tao. I mean, hindi ako walking on cam. Uh, speaking in front of many people, again, speaking in front of camera is too different. I can talk. I can talk long in front of, uh, of an audience. But it's really hard to edit yourself. It's really hard to make a video interesting or an on-cam personality to make your video interesting but whatever it is what important is speaking is important freedom of expression is important and providing knowledge to everyone is important and I am here in front of you safe my smartphone, and I'm here to welcome you to the city of Manila. My name is Lam Santiago. Thank you very much. Mabuhay po ang Manila.